In continuing our conversation on some of the most asked questions on the offer to purchase and contract, I'll take you to paragraph five, buyer representations. <clears throat> This is where the buyer describes how he's going to pay for the property. For example, is it going to be cash? You see the first bullet point there. Or is it going to be through loan or some other funds? Let's go back to cash for just a moment. If you're a listing agent and you ever have a buyer who presents an offer and say they're paying cash, notice at the end of that little paragraph there, verification of cash available for settlement is or is not attached. I would highly encourage you as a listing agent to make sure that they have verified the funds. Otherwise, you don't know whether they're going to be able to close on the property or not. So get that information. They should be prepared to give it to you. More commonly, the buyer checks that they're going to get a loan or some other type, and then they answer what type of loan they're going to get. Is it FHA? Is it VA? Is it conventional, et cetera? Or are they getting money from another source, such as a second mortgage, or if they're having their family give them funds? Anyway, this is just so that the seller can take into consideration how well qualified this buyer is. Now, having said that, that's not actually the most asked question that I get about this. The most common question that I get goes something like this. Well, the buyer said that they were going to pay uh, cash, and then they asked if they could switch to conventional. Is that a big deal? Believe it or not, for the most part, it's not a big deal. Now, let me take you to the note at the bottom of provision 5 and I'm going to take you to the second little paragraph sentence there. It says, material changes with respect to funding the purchase of the property that affect the terms of the contract or material facts that must be disclosed. So someone might read that and say, well, yeah, Chris, it says right there, if they change loan types, that they have to disclose it as a material fact. Well, the fact of the matter is, read that, uh, that sentence carefully. Material changes with respect to funding the purchase of the property that affect the terms of the contract. If they go from cash to conventional and it doesn't take longer or extend the length of time they need to close, that's not a material fact that needs to be disclosed. On the other hand, if they switch from cash to FHA or VA, now that's clearly material because now the seller has to sign another document, uh, the uh, FHA or VA addendum, to potentially allow for an appraisal exclusion or something to that effect, or allow them to get out based on the uh, appraisal. That would be a material fact. So read that, that uh, paragraph closely, this whole provision uh, closely. If you have any questions, leave them in the chat, and I'll get back to you on that. Or if you'd like to see a video more specifically on either of these topics, we'd be glad to help you with that as well. Thanks.